Hello. So I have been to the charity shop. Some of you may know it as a thrift store, but in England there's charity shops and they're very small. Very, very small. At least the ones I go to. No, generally speaking, they are small in England. So I haven't been there I haven't been for a while, so I bought a few goodies that I'm gonna share with you with projects that I want to make amazing and hopefully inspire and motivate and share ideas for you to do the same. So let's get to it. So the charity shops that I've been to since the big issue problems that we had in the world in the past two years, uh, a couple of them, well more than a couple of them actually have closed down which is so sad because I did enjoy going to those and I found some amazing pieces. Um, but anyway, the pieces that I have found are just as exciting or will be a lot more exciting once I refashion them. Um, so I'm going to show you what they look like. Stay to the end of the video because I need you to vote. I need you to vote in which order I'm going to be making these. So please watch until the end. So all that I need to do is show you and tell you what I'm going to be doing with them. So first, I was mainly going to find t-shirts. That's what I actually wanted to do. But I struggled. No one's given up on these t-shirts. <laughs> I found um, two, one from the men's section and a couple-ish t-shirt-ish items from the women's section. I mean, yeah, I'm glad people keeping hold of them. Trust me, I am. Um, but yeah, when, when you want to refashion, you know, let go, please. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to bring you down so that I can show you what I've got. So I decided it's going to be easier for me to just hold them up rather than bring the camera down. So the first one is going to be this long sleeve t-shirt, a v-net, I love this red that's in there. I'm hoping that this is going to be a no-sew project. I haven't done one of those in a while, so I'm hoping. So the next one is going to be this white vest top. Oh, it's blurring out just a little bit and it, it was new as well I'm hoping to add sleeves to this from this dress a white dress these sleeves oh, gorgeous so that's going to be exciting um, I won't be using all of this dress though but I just definitely want the sleeves onto this vest the next thing is going to be this gorgeous movement in this top that I am going to be making into a skirt. I just love that, but it's it's quite thin though. But I have to I have to give it a try. I do because I just love that movement. Can you imagine when you walk in that and this just moves? Ooh, gorgeous. The next one is going to be. This is from the men's section, so it's a long t-shirt. And I'm going to be doing a dress. It looks like it's going to be a mini dress. <laughs> and this red top. Is it a top or a dress? It could be either, <laughs> depending on your height. And yes, it could be either. So yes, I'll be doing something with that, not sure what yet. Now, do you remember this? You may not. If you've been watching my channel, you may remember this. And what I tend to do on my channel is I try to make sure that I use everything so that there's no leftovers from a project, whatever garment I'm using, and I tend to pair two together, which is even more amazing. So this was from the denim skirt. It was a denim skirt which was a mini and I just left it into a matte skirt, this one. And this is a top section that is left over. So whenever I have left over sections from a previous project then I make sure I try my best to make sure that I remember them and then use them in another project so I saw this yeah there's a lot of white in there <laughs> I saw this so hopefully it's it's quite small at the top so I don't think I'll be able to get anything done I could get something out of that but I'm hoping to pair them together that should be amazing so that's what I'm hoping with that project. And next is going to be the black dress. I 
and I am going to be turning this into a skirt, a black skirt. I just love the top stitching detail on there. That's what drew me to it. And a maxi skirt with a matching top. And I'm going to make this into like a duster coat that I could wear with jeans. Um, it's not really my style, but yeah, um, I don't like, I, did, I have tried most of these items on. I do wash a laundry or anything before I actually show anybody or start a project. That's something I need to do straight away as soon as I come home from a charity shop. And I did try this, so I was thinking maybe I could just keep this, you know, in my wardrobe as a long mask skirt, but it just wasn't working. I like the colour, um, and I think I can, I, I will actually wear this if I made it into like a duster coat type of garment. So that's, that's that one. And finally, but not least, is a skirt. This is this mushroom coloured skirt with a back bent and it's got this gorgeous belt that comes with it as well <laughs> and it was a belt that drew me to it actually so I'm thinking about making this into a top this is going to be a little bit more challenging so this project will be for advanced fashion sewers uh, for advanced um, refashion sewers I should say um, so yeah I'm looking forward to that so that's it so those are the items that I got from my last visit to the charity shop and I need you to go so once you've watched this video I need you to go down I need you to go to first of all to go to the community tab it, it will be in two parts um, because I'm limited by the choice I can make. I think it's four or five, I think. So, um, and there's more than five, but that's here. So I'll do it in two parts. So I'll do the first part as the easiest projects for me to do, and then work my way that way. So easy, intermediate, and more advanced. Yeah, I'll do it that way. Um, if you've got any suggestions, then you're more than welcome to put that in the comments section. I would be so grateful and I will definitely consider them. And yeah, that's it. So all I need to do now is start thinking about how I'm going to tackle some of these projects, which one's going to be the first. And yeah, I look forward to you answering the poll. So that'll give me some idea of which one I'm going to be starting first, second, third, fourth, and so on. So if you enjoyed me showing you what I bought in the charity shop, please give me a thumbs up and please do share. Do like this video because it will help my channel to grow. And yes, and I look forward to seeing what comments you put in the community tab section and also below this video. Thank you for watching.